How are you? How are you doing this evening? It's amazing. Three months ago, you were introducing a new line of RuPaul's Drag Race with All Stars, and now here we are. Yeah. Three months later, with season five. Yeah. Soon it'll be like every month a new a new show. I love it. It's fun. So, what are you most excited about for this season with the new queens? Well, you know, this this group of queens in season five are really the drag race generation. They were queens who got into the game, most of them, uh, after our show premiered. So they speak the language and they are ready to play the game. Absolutely. Would you say this season has more drama or more of a sisterhood mixed into it? You know, it's always different. Now, obviously, the drama is inherent when you get a bunch of drag queens on a soundstage with $100,000 at stake. That's always just going to be there. But. Uh, you know, it's always it's always a little bit different, just because the the chemistry of all the girls and how um, they come from different parts of the world, and uh, it's uh, it's always interesting. But the 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 combination is always different. Absolutely. So, obviously, the promo was goddesses. What? Where did you come up with the idea of goddesses for these queens? Well, they are goddesses. You know, I always say I. I everyone who is who is strong enough to walk out of the house with a Pussycat wig and a pair of high heels is my hero. And uh, they are untouchable. They're goddesses. So that's what that's about. Are you pushing their barriers beyond this year compared to past seasons? Oh, my goodness. Do we push barriers? And, and, and this is, you know, listen, when you're doing a reality show, especially our show, the hours are long. They're sequestered. They don't talk to their family. You know, they're not allowed to for the time they're shooting. And... Uh, it's really wearing on a person. It's almost like being in a, you know, some type of a prison, you know, because uh, uh, a drag prison, because, you know, so they get worn down. And then we absolutely push them beyond their limits. Because if you really want a long career in show business, you've got to know where your limits are and to actually learn how to, uh, to, to push past it to know where that is and that's that's true with everybody not just drag i've done it i've had to do it and uh you know i, I encourage our girls to do it in fact that's what the challenges are designed to do so would you say that this is the fishiest season out of the five seasons that we've seen oh my seen? god they're all they're all it's all fishy um uh is it the fishiest? I don't know if it's the fishiest. There's a lot. There's a lot of, of that going on. But I don't know if it's the fishiest. Hey, guys, this is RuPaul, and you're watching Real Gay TV. Oh, Macromino.